Hello everyone and happy new year, I hope 2023 is filled with happy moments and lots of great GeoGuessr games. In this video we're gonna play some play along games in creepy, funny, weird and unique locations. Quickly before I start I wanna mention the GeoPeters 2023 League where you can join in and play a different map every week along with other members of the community and then later see who did better, did you beat me, did you not beat me, compare the results. If you wanna join the link will be in the description, everyone's welcome to join in. So here we go, here we go, uh, all the play along links as always in the description, two minutes, no moving, uh, good luck, good luck. Okay, so what's creepy, funny, weird, okay, this is a bit creepy, isn't it? Some sort of a abandoned tower. Abandoned places are always kind of creepy, but they have some, some sort of appeal as well. Wait, okay, okay there's a Santa here. <laughs> I wasn't planning on it, but I guess it uh, goes well with uh, time of the year. What do we, have? we have some... Okay, Portuguese. I don't think we have the area code on the phone numbers. Not that I can see, at least. Well, this should be Brazil. But with, with the Portuguese language. But without the area codes... Ay, ay, ay. With these green mountains, I would... I would be thinking more towards south of Brazil, maybe. Yeah, I don't see any other um, clues. Let's go. I was thinking maybe somewhere near Sao Paulo, maybe somewhere down here. Let's see. Okay, not too bad. Very close to Rio de Janeiro, actually. What was that place? Park Alba Noel. Park Alba Noel is an abandoned Christmas-themed park in Brazil. Yeah. So next one, um, some sort of a small mini village. Ooh, is this, uh, I know there is a village like this in, um, was it Austria? There, I, I don't know if this is the one, maybe this is a different one. Yeah, it, okay, it's in English here, not not Austria then. In Geodetective, we had one location in, in Austria, I believe it was, with lots of these smaller houses. These are really cool, I, and I also went to, like, a small, uh, kind of mini town in Poland as well, they had one. But I would think this would be UK, with English and the architecture as well feels quite British. So that's that's my thinking here. Member of Lower Crackpot. Is Lower Crackpot the location's name, or...? <laughs> Member of Lower Crackpot, huh? Okay. Uh, I know UK has some very weird location names, for sure, so I wouldn't be surprised if they have a Lower Crackpot somewhere, too. Oh, uh, let's go. Maybe somewhere in England. Huh. The architecture did not look Australian at all. Maybe it was some sort of a, like a British museum in Australia. What was that place? Tasmazia and the village of Lower Crackpot. Well, there's the Lower Crackpot. Theme park with mazes and a tiny village. Okay, interesting. I was not thinking Australia at all, to be honest. The houses looked so British. I guess it, if it's supposed to represent some old houses, I guess, makes sense that they might look British. Okay, so from the first glance, I'm thinking um, Asia, right? With these these roofs, with um, kind of curves, a uh, very, very Asian feeling. Now, which country? <laughs> this is adorable, adorable. Google should cover all the faces like this instead of blurring them. Would be much cuter. We have some monks here, huh? I think that looks kind of like a monk. What would this be? Could this be Nepal? For some reason Nepal came to my mind. Maybe because of the monks, I kind of associate monks with Nepal. Is that language? Those kind of look like they might be Chinese uh, characters. I I don't know. I will go... Not I, I'll go Nepal. I don't know. No, uh, I don't know. It was China. It was China after all. What was that place? Mughal Caves. The Pagoda of Maitreya Bodhisattva. Okay. A very rural, rural China there. Okay, fair enough. Oh, okay. This is an interesting location for sure. What is that animal supposed to be? Some sort of a squirrel or squirrel standing next to a big tree? Sloth. Oh, sloth. It's supposed to be a sloth. This is a sloth sanctuary. Sloths used to be my favorite animal for, for a moment when I was younger. Um, this shape, this shape looks like South America and this kind of looks like North America, no? 
I, I think that's that's what I first thought when I saw this shape. So maybe it's somewhere there. Maybe one of the Caribbean islands. Because this place does have that islandy feel, doesn't it? With English language as well. Yeah, I, I don't know where sloths in which countries you can find them. But um St. Vincent and the Grenadines, maybe? Bahamas? Could this be Bahamas? I didn't know they have Adelaide in uh, Bahamas, huh? Learning something new. Cockburn Town. <laughs> okay, anyways, the time is up. Let's let's guess uh, where, where did I plonk it? Down here. Let's see. It was... Oh, Costa Rica. Okay. I mean, Central America makes sense as well. It's just... We, we had only English, so Spanish-speaking countries wouldn't have been my first guess there. Kind of the right area. Could have been a better guess, but could have been worse as well. Now, what is this place? Some sort of a, like a track? Or what is this? Like a prison? Is this Lithuania? This sun kind of feels Lithuanian. The language looks like the words end with A-S. It's a common uh, word ending in Lithuanian. Is this, I have no idea what this place is. Oh, <laughs> I just noticed the author's name is The Lift Vilnius. So yeah, it is Lithuania. Uh, I'm glad I recognized it before reading the author's name, though. The author's name says Vilnius, so maybe we are near Vilnius. Maybe. I don't know what this place would be, though. Let's go somewhere a bit west of Vilnius, somewhere there. Let's see. Completely opposite side, quite close to Latvia, actually. What was that place? Shemaitios National Park, Shaltoyo War Museum. Okay. Yeah, I haven't been there before, but it's pretty close to Riga, so... Maybe I could go one day, who knows. How did we do in total? 11,400 points. Could have been a better score, but um, some of the rounds were really tricky, I thought. Let, let's go for one more game. I think I can do better than 11,000, hopefully. Good luck. Hello, okay, a very small church on the top of a hill. This feels like, oh gosh, is this McMurdo Station or no? I'm kind of getting McMurdo Station vibes here. I know there was like a small church there. I've seen it from the distance, not from up close. So I don't know if this is the one. I think there was, or maybe there was a big cross instead of a church. I don't remember. But this, this kind, this kind of houses feels like some sort of a like a. This is either somewhere very north or very south. Uh, where was McMurdo? McMurdo was here. Would it be somewhere... There is some sort of a chapel here. In the water. Chapel of the Snows. Could this be Chapel of the Snows? Maybe. Chapel of the Snows. Maybe this is the cross that I've seen from afar. This might be the one that I was thinking. Because I've seen like a big cross in the McMurdo station before. So I think that's my best guess. Let, let's see. Let's see. Very punishing, very punishing. I, I mean, I was 4,000 kilometers away. I got Antarctica right, but still I was so far away. What was this? Base Presidente Eduardo Frey Montal Montalva. Trinity Church it was. Kinda had the right right idea there, but but yeah, would, wouldn't have guessed it there. Big Lizzy, huh? This is the Big Lizzy. Is this some sort of like a big tractor or or uh or what is this? I'm not sure. Big Lizzie is giving me Australian vibes. Big Lizzie. Think digital teaching tomorrow's technology today. Where? <laughs> Where are you teaching it? It might say the location name somewhere, but all the other other words are blurred out. Um, I don't think this would be Perth. Uh, I hope it isn't. Um, so I would maybe guess, but we didn't see any plates, did we? Uh, no. Um, New South Wales, maybe. Wagga Wagga. <laughs> Is there a big lazy in Wagga Wagga? Not really. But let's go somewhere there. Okay, not too bad. It was New South Wales. I was right about that. It was Red Cliffs. There is the Big Lizzie right there. What is Big Lizzie? Let's search it up. 
Big Lizzie was an enormous tractor used to clear vast expanses of land around the river at the Red Cliffs Soldier Settlement. That's what Big Lizzie is. Fair enough, fair enough. Let's see what's the next one. Okay. What? Okay, there is a body as well. At first I didn't see the Jurov body, so... Uh, but it's still very... Interesting. <laughs> This is such a crazy location, what? Surely this is some sort of like a national park or something, right? Not many clues that we see. Very giraffe oriented, a lot of giraffe statues, giraffe pictures, obviously a big giraffe itself. So some sort of a giraffe sanctuary maybe or something like that. But I don't know where that would be. Be, my guess would be in Africa somewhere, but 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 about the country, maybe something like Tanzania. I think Tanzania has a lot of natural reserves and uh, national parks, so may maybe somewhere there. Let's see. Okay, it was Kenya, Nairobi. That was oh gosh, I wouldn't have guessed it was so close to the, to the city center. Giraffe Center, Giraffe Manor, that's crazy. So cool, so cool. If I ever visit Kenya, I want to go to the Giraffe Center. See giraffes in real life. Okay, what is this now? Mm, we have a flag. Wait, this flag? It is, yeah, we have some Chinese. This is the um Taiwan flag, right? I'm not the best with flags, but I think it should be. And this is official coverage as well. Yeah, that's also a good thing to notice. A very interesting building here. And some sort of... A, I'm, I'm guessing this is some sort of a memorial for soldiers. Quite hilly, quite mountainous. Generally, like the kind of eastern part is more hilly and mountainous in Taiwan. But you can get some hills here as well. Let's go maybe near Taipei, kind of south where there are some more hills. Somewhere here-ish. Maybe. Let's see. Okay, it was north of Taipei. Still a pretty good guess. It was Juming Museum. And soft drink shop is nearby, apparently. <laughs> Hugging the holy pole. Nice. It's always nice to see holy poles in real life. I haven't seen the Romanian ones, but I've seen the Polish holy poles. So, uh, it was a nice experience. Next time I see a Romanian holy pole, I also want to hug it. But this should, should be Romania with this pole, I believe. Although in Hungary you can get some similar looking ones as well, to be honest. So could this be Hungary, maybe? I think these poles, kind of in the background, look more Hungarian than Romanian to me. So I feel like in Romania these, these uh, empty, like these holes would be longer. So I'm starting to lean more towards Hungary here. Also, in Romania, quite often you see like a yellow sticker on these um, holy poles. So that would be another clue why it might be Hungary instead. And again, a little hilly. Yeah, let's go kind of more, maybe somewhere east of Budapest, somewhere in that area, maybe. Okay, okay, it was north of Budapest, but it was Hungary. Pretty good guess, I would say. How did we do in total? 17,000 points. Now that's more like it. If only the Antarctica guess would have been closer, the score would have been even better. If you played along, let me know in the comments. Did you manage to beat me? How did you do in these games? And don't forget to join the 2023 GeoGuessr Pro League that I made. The link is in the description. Every week there will be a new map where you can play along me and other community members. Huge thanks to all of the patrons and YouTube members for supporting this channel. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Be kind to one another and happy new year.